Let's now learn how to create a custom config form and add it to the configuration page in the system section. Now, this is useful if you have a custom module and you want to ship some configuration in that module. Now, we're going to use Drush to generate this config form. So it's going to be relatively quick and easy to set up. So let's jump over to our terminal. And here I have Drush already installed and we are going to use the Drush generate function. But before we create the config form, let's create a module. So I'll type in Drush generate and then type in module. Then enter in a module name. I'll call this one WW admin settings. And you can adjust the machine name, but we'll keep the default. And let's enter in a description because one is required used for admin settings. And then you can leave everything as the default. And here you can see that a .info file has been created, which means we have a module. Now, before we generate the actual form, let's go ahead and install this module. To install a module from Drush, just type in Drush EN, then the machine name of the module. Now to generate the config form, just type in Drush generate config form, then enter in the machine name for the module where you want the form generated in. So in our case, we'll enter in WW admin settings. Now, if your module doesn't appear in this order complete, make sure you enable it. That's why I enabled it after generating the module and then enter in a class name. I will type in admin settings form, then make sure you select yes for route and leave the route name as it is. And the path should be admin slash config slash system, which is correct. And let's change the route title to WW admin settings and make sure the permission is set to something like administer site configuration. Do not use the generic access content permission. Make sure you use a specific administer permission. And if you want a menu link to appear in the system section, which is this section right here, make sure you type in yes for menu link and then define a link title. And let's add in used for WW admin settings as the link description. Leave this set as the default option, which is system admin underscore config underscore system. This means that the menu link will appear here in the system section. So leave it as the default. And now you can see that a bunch of files have been created. Let's jump over to PHP Storm and we can see our module. We have our .info file, we have our route, and we have our menu link. Then if you go to source, you should see admin settings form. This is the actual form itself. If you want to modify the form, you can do so from the build form method. And then down in the submit form method, this is where it'll submit the config schema. And if you go to config, you can actually see the example schema, which has been generated. So at this point, all we need to do is jump over into our Drupal site and refresh. And we may not see things because we need to rebuild the cache. So scroll down, click on performance, click on clear all caches. And then if we go back into configuration, we should see WW admin settings. And if we click on it, we should see the example form. And if we enter something in such as test and click on save configuration, it'll go ahead and create a basic config entity for us using this defined schema. So if you need to create a custom config form, look at using Drush Generate.